Celebrating 10 years of award-winning car talk, it's the In Wheel Time Car Show. Just ahead, talk to the folks at Bolt Lock Systems. This thing works through your vehicle's ignition switch. Oh. So uh, it's a different kind of deal. We thought that you'd be interested in it, so we've got an interview about it. We need more Jeff. We'll review his pre-owned car of the week, the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata. We got the racing calendar. Conrad has the car clinic. And we also have the stories making automotive news headlines this week. Just ahead on this In Wheel Time car show. Howdy along with Mike out of this world, Mars. King Conrad DeLong. We need more Jeff Zekin. We always do. I'm Don Armstrong. And this segment of our show, sponsored by a new sponsor, and we'd like to welcome Garages of Texas. All right. Luxury Yay. Garage Suites. Put a roof over your ride, Garages of Texas. And you'll hear more about that coming up. Right now, you bet. we have a fellow by the name of Jason Buckles on the line with us. And uh, Jason is with a company called Bolt lock systems, and I found it rather intriguing, uh, Jason, that uh, this is a different kind of a lock that I, I, I'm dying to find out how this thing works. Tell, Step us through this. Start from the beginning and give us the scoop. Sure. Good morning. Thanks for having me on this morning. You bet. So what Bolt Locks is, we, we wanted something different, and we wanted something that was more secure but didn't sacrifice any of the convenience you really see when you're dealing with a whole bunch of different locks. Now, so these lo this, what are these locks for? To lock, uh, uh, for instance, your uh, uh, ball and hitch? Uh, how, how does that work? Yeah, is all sorts of locks. You know, we have we have receiver locks. So if you want to lock up your hitch uh, them there, yep. uh, we have padlocks. I have cable locks. But, you know, we're talking about some Jeep products, too. We, when we're going back and forth about uh, getting on the show. We have stuff like this is our Jeep hood lock. So you, there's oh. no way to lock the hood of the Jeep. So we made a lock that goes right in the center. And then we can conclude the um, replacement grill for the JLs, the new Jank Wrangler JLs. Is that so, is that a problem that people are stealing stuff out from under the hood? Oh, yeah. I never heard oh, of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's no um, – just pop Batteries, little... you have air compressors, mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff. Wow. Um, one of the things I've heard recently is you know, people go in, pop the ECU off of your Wrangler – Swapping a new one, and now their chip key works on their your rank, you can drive it away. So. Oh my gosh, I never heard <laughs> of such a no. thing. Wow. My mind doesn't think <laughs> yeah, that I way. Don't, but I don't. No, yeah, you would know about this. Okay, so continue yeah. on. Yeah, so what we did, we have a line of locks that works with the vehicle key. So this is a standard Jeep key. First time you get one of our locks, you put the key in the lock, turn it all the way till it stops, and the lock learns your key right then and there. So now that one Jeep key can open all of your locks. So like now I don't locks. have to have a whole ring full of keys oh, for yeah. all the different exactly. locks on there. So it's a gate. Yep. You can use it on gates and and just anything you want to lock up that you can put a yeah, padlock I, on. Exactly. I had a farmer come through. He bought like 50 padlocks for all of his gates around his farm to lock up with one key. Wow. Um, and it's not just Jeep products. We also work with GM, Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Toyota, and Nissan vehicles for the last 20, 25 years. So all the complexities of these laser-cut Jeeps, you've kind of, for lack of a better phrase, broken the code Ooh. and put them inside of your locking systems. Yeah. Yep. That is brilliant. Really key that, that is yeah. genius. Yeah. Uh, and, and to make it so easy, because, you know, uh, Jeeps, I mean, they got hitches on them. Oh, and yeah. you tell, I mean, I've seen Jeeps tow just about everything that you can imagine. Oh, yeah. And all I can think of is our Ram trucks. Yes. Uh, all, all the stuff that you can tow, well, you got a, a, a hitch lock for all of that stuff, yep. and there you go. Yep. And on top of that, we have also a trailer lock, so a coupler pin lock there, because you know you have to secure your coupler when you're driving a trailer. Or if you're not towing your trailer, we have a trailer hitch lock that goes up into the ball with a strap over the top, so it keeps it nice and secure so no one can steal your trailer, too. Oh. And, so, and it all works off the same system where I could use my one key, my ignition key, or whatever key yep. I choose. Yeah, it uh, works with vehicle keys. That's what we work with. Um, oh, okay, here. so it needs um, to be a vehicle we, key. Correct. And you do need to be find the one that matches your vehicle because um, the keys, I mean, there's no way you're going to get a single lock that works with both of these keys. Right, 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 right. right, right. right. Yeah. So it's key so only. Make, what happens if you've got a fob only? 
you, you know, you got your key fob that you do your doors and, and you got a minivan or whatever the case it is. How does that work? But inside there, inside that fob is a key. It was well, a valet key. Not on my exactly. Ram truck. It's not. It's, it's a valet key. It's not? Nope. Well, wait, there is I, a fob, a key in the back of your fob. You'll right. see a little switch right by the keyhole. Yeah. And the back of the keyhole will pull out. And there's a Come key Come on, Mars. So, <laughs> so you utilize the valet key. <laughs> I got yep, you. That's what we do there. See, I learn so. something new every day. Okay, give yeah. me 20 we bucks, actually, Mike. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we know all about those because what our parent company does, we're the OE manufacturer of locks and keys for GM, Ford, and Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Oh, so we actually make. Uh, so that's the connection. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> they got the inside, got the inside track. Groove, groove, so to speak. You know what? They've got that business <laughs> locked up. <laughs> <laughs> they do have that business locked up. They have the key to profitability. There you go. So uh, let me ask you this: do you, Do you happen to have any like custom fobs that uh, that uh, will work? I mean, I want I want my Jeep fob to look different and unique. Can you do that? Uh, for the new Jeep Wranglers, no. This thing is a massive fob, and yeah. to be honest, I would never want this <laughs> myself. This thing is huge. I don't know who. Yeah, uh, it it is big. Told it. Um, the actually the last. In front of JK's, we actually do so one. It's um, you should look up. It's our Jeep Rock Key. Um, so it looks like a, it's like an off-road rock hill area, hill area. Something you could take a look at. Okay, so. interesting. So those yeah. folks that accidentally lose their key, you know, so do you the make them a second, is, a second version of it or another key? Because it, it it actually learns the cuts of your key, all the little cuts. So if you have a spare key to your truck, stick it in there. Turn it and it'll open all your locks still too. Gotcha. Because it actually learns the cuts of the key. It's okay. all mechanical. There's no batteries required for any of these products. Wow. Oh, that keeps it very simple. Mm -hmm. So how do we get your product? So you can buy them a uh, whole bunch of places. Of course, check us out online at boltlock.com. Um, we are also available in O'Reilly's, Four Wheel Parts, Napa. Um, they're on Amazon or we also own a whole bunch of small uh, retailers across the country, so you can check those all out at boltlock.com. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm so surprised the dealerships haven't picked you guys up as an accessory item, you know, to, actually to some sell in their parts departments. Yeah. Um, we actually have a couple of Ram dealerships who first thing they do when they get the trucks on, they take one of our cable locks and then wrap it around the spare tire. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Well, you, that's, you need, that's a good idea. You need to go to uh, the Lone Star event coming up next year. As yeah. Lone Star, 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 Star Throwdown. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, yeah, yeah. you need to design something to keep the catalytic converter from getting <laughs> stolen. Go. Oh, my gosh. Go. They're, they're taking them everywhere here in yeah, Houston. Yeah, th that's a major problem here in Houston. But so. that, I, not a product you guys are right. going to deal with. But yeah. Well, how cool is that? Yeah. So you carry uh, cable lock. So basically four products, the, uh, the hitch lock, the cable lock. The uh, padlock, the what's the what's the fourth one I see there over your shoulder? Well, that's for the, the the hitch. Oh, so we have different. These are just some of the old products we do have. Um, this one here is actually our Jeep. Oh, there it is. Our uh, Jeep spare tire lock. Oh, okay, okay. So you place one of the lug nuts oh, okay. with your um, with our custom lug nut, and you put the lock on top of it, and it holds it in place. Um, we also have our hood locks for JKs and JLs, um, and as well as one of the other products we have. It's a new way to mount your high lift jack. It's called J-mount. And what you do on this is it actually mounts on the side of your Jeep, right next to, in front off the A-pillar on the TJ and the JK. Oh, yeah? So you're, high, you're not putting your high lift over your head and putting it onto a roof rack or across the front of your hood. And if you know, it's wood and just slips and damages your hood, it's a nice quick way of mounting your high lift on your Jeep. Does, does it, uh, what is it attached to the hinges? So the TJ and JK version, there is two bolts on the A-pillar that are vertical right there. Right. Um, you take those bolts out. You put our bracket up against it, two bolts back in. That's all it takes to install it. Oh, wow. Interesting. And then, of course, you got the lock there to hold it to keep somebody from stealing. Of course, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got the lock. Yeah, it's it's super simple. Oh, um, you guys think of everything. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, and they're, yeah, and they're looking for new ideas all the time. <laughs> Chastity belt. Go. A, chastity, a chastity belt. <laughs> I, I just posted your uh, website on our Facebook page for all of our listeners uh, that want to go uh, 
check you out. Uh, great idea. Absolutely a great idea. And like Don said, not having to have that ring of keys because typically, um, you know, I've got a couple of padlocks around and each padlock's a different key. So you got to carry mm -hmm. like seven or eight keys plus your car keys mm -hmm. and it makes you jingle when you come in late at night. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are yeah. some of the what are some of the price points of these? So our receiver lock is uh, thirty four ninety nine. You know, the pad lock okay. is twenty one ninety nine. Um, cable lock is thirty nine ninety nine. So I mean, they are a little bit of a premium model, yeah. but we use, but they're exactly. pretty comparable. Um, we are also one of the few out there that actually has a solid stainless steel pitch pin on our receiver locks. A lot of them are just case hardened and chrome plated. So um, you actually, if you go to our Facebook page and our YouTube uh, page as well. You'll see some. We actually did a video where we take um, you take a two foot pipe onto receiver locks, and it's one of the quickest ways to break off receiver lock. And yeah. what a lot of thieves do. You can see how quickly some of our competitors did to them. How quickly oh, they snapped versus okay. ours. And before anyone says anything, as a person who was actually yanking on that pipe to try to break our receiver lock off, no, I was not holding back, and it really did take like five minutes of just doing it to try to get it off. Wow. So. <laughs> Well, I, I find it interesting. You said that there was, you know, there's a little bit of a premium with your product uh, as mm -hmm. compared to some of the others. But you know, the fact that you've got this universal key system, or whatever you know the proper term is, the fact that I can get rid of half the keys on my key ring, and now I just got my ignition key to deal with. To me, that's worth a whole lot. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. I wouldn't consider that a premium. I would consider that just, you know, this is a product that's exceptional. Yeah, and I, I yeah I don't consider your prices to be out of out of no, range right to other line. stuff. Yeah. You know, having looked at some, a few other things, exactly. I think your prices are right on target, especially because you have the uh, automotive key lock in them. Well, my Jason, yeah, no, I want to go sure? find something to, to buy one so I can play with my key. You can go buy now that you found your new found key. Yeah, now I got my new found key. I need something to use it on. Oh, Lord. You know, there's you Mike, there's money in your wallet, too. Why don't you open that up? No, I can assure you. <laughs> pull the, no, I pull the dust there. off of it. Jason, thanks so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Great thanks idea. Me. Great yeah. idea. Yeah, I love it. Jason Buckles with uh, Bolt Lock Systems. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back. Garages of Texas offers first-class luxury garage suites to keep your collection in a safe, secure location with 24-hour access. You'll love your own private space that's developed with other like-minded enthusiasts in two Houston-area locations, in Katy and the Woodlands. Visit garagesoftexas.com to see how other enthusiasts have designed their motor vehicle man cave. But you need to act fast. These properties are almost sold out. Visit garagesoftexas.com for full details. Join the Garages and Gearheads Having Coffee Cruise-In at the Katy location, August 28th, 9 to 11 a.m. It's the In Wheel Time Car Show. Thanks so much for joining us on this Saturday. We truly appreciate it. And again, we'd like to welcome Garages of Texas, Luxury Garage Suites. Put a roof over your ride as our new sponsor. And we hope that you'll check them out. Be sure and go to that uh, cruise in that's coming up that I on just mentioned. On the 28th. Yeah, on the 28th. That'd be a good one. You get to see these garages. Oh, yeah. And this is not some fly-by-night little tin garage. Oh, no. No, I, I, I've been out there and took a look at this. And uh, actually, a friend of mine, Manfred Piazza, kind of connected me with these guys. Uh, and I uh, had a chance to go out and look at what they're building in Katy, which I'm, I know is what they've built up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and also going to build in the Woodlands. Um, you know, you, you get their garage and then you get the opportunity either to hire their contractors to go in and make it your man cave, so to speak, uh, or, uh, um, you know, you can hire their contractors, you can bring your own in. But it's, it's a, you know, a couple of car garage and then an upstairs space for a place to kind of hang out well, as well. Well, they've got, they got enough uh, headroom in there. You can certainly put a full lift in there. Or you, yeah, or you can put a couple of lifts in. And then I think they, they offer, you know, multiple door garages to, you know, if you need 6, 8, 10, 15 yeah, this is this is first class all the oh, way. Oh, this is high class <laughs> all the way. If you go to their website, garagesoftexas.com, I did, and I'm going, 
Holy cow! Yeah. I yeah, want that. I'm ready yeah. to move in. Exactly. Yeah, and you could do that. You know, it, it, it looks like a living space, and you could put restrooms and stuff in all of these. It's uh, very, very, very well done. Uh, very high security. Um, it's interesting when I went to the location. Um, I didn't find it right away, which I thought was a good idea, yes. knowing what they have there. Uh, that it's a little. Um, unassuming kind of a, a warehouse doesn't stand doesn't hit you in the face yeah right that yeah there's million dollar cars here yeah. so you know they 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 do a real good job of a lot of high security there a lot of good fencing and then just a bunch of car people hanging out and Aren't you know you? the other thing uh, to that point is the fact that uh, most of the storage facilities a lot of guys use storage facilities to store their mm-hmm. car that they are not 24 7 operations no. you can't get in there say for instance at two o'clock in the morning right and so, but this, you own this thing, and you can get in there at 24-7 yeah. access. Yeah, and, and, get, and that's the key is you own this. This is not rented space. You own this space. Yeah. Do yeah. you know what else is very important? You know, I've been dealing and talking with uh, uh, Sean. The people are amazing. They are so well-read on what their products are, what the business is. Mm-hmm. They're, they're folks that they network with. So the people are important as well, and I think that's a great idea. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, they're, they're very connected in the car community and, and want to make sure that they keep that connection, which is part exactly. of why they're having the show on the 28th. Yep. Ford Motor Company uh, will spend more on electric vehicles than on gasoline-powered vehicles what? in 2023. According to Lisa Drake, the company's North American CO. Oh, automakers in the midst of a $30 billion investment in EVs through 2025 and until now has not put a timetable on when EV spending will exceed internal combustion engine spending. Ford has said it has over 120,000 reservations for the Lightning, which is their electric truck. Uh, at launches next year. Beyond that, the automaker plans to launch the e-transit van this mm-hmm. year, as well as a Lincoln EV next year. The company has said it's working on electric vehicles. Uh, electric so would that be a ver- Lincoln Electric? Working on electric. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Working on electric <laughs> versions of the Explorer and Lincoln Aviator crossovers, Ford has said that the EVs will account for 40% of its global sales by 2030. Not surprised. The Lincoln brand will have four battery electric products by 2030. Yeah. Well, let's see if the infrastructure catches up to all these Well, And, that, and EVs. that's really going to be the key because it's not consumer Friendly. Demand Friendly, that's yeah. driving all this. Well, you're you, you're going to have to have a 220 charger at the house to make this viable. And I, I I don't know if you can even bring a 440 in, which would be the supercharger. Well, if you have the electrical uh, accessibility, right, to bring 440 but up but to your house. Easy. You know, I even read here recently where there's some people now that are working on adapters to where you can take, like, if your car comes with a 110 plug. That you can make that there's an adapter you can take and plug it into your dryer right, plug. Right, right. You that's, 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 dryer. Where that's where you're two, two, right. two, two so you can go in there and catch it instead of installing another plug. But even at that, the, to me, the problem that's not the problem. The problem is when you get 100, 150 miles from home and you need more juice, you're screwed, Jack. <laughs> call AAA. Call, call AAA. Oh, my God. Guy will show up with a little gas generator Did for you. you. I, I showed you. This was several months ago. I showed you a picture of the, the AAA charging truck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a, it's a truck that's got a diesel engine and a generator on the back of it. When I was in Fresno at the Home Depot, there's a section of like eight electric charging stations and then way off in the little corner is a diesel generator that's powering the eight electric charging stations yeah, well i told you up here at first colony yet. mall they actually have right there in front of dillard's i think it's dillard's or macy's one or the other that uh, they've got actual free charging stations while you're shopping guess what yeah. i can find something to do for a half an hour outside of that Ten dollar charge that I had to pay for <laughs> when I charged that <laughs> electric Whole Foods or H-E-B yeah, whole, whole Foods. Ten dollars yeah. for thirty minutes for you a charge. Go so get it's something just, to eat at the mall. Well, yeah. I mean, and we talked about this. You know, it's it's really now that they got vehicles that'll do two or three hundred miles, even at that. Because my situation, I can't drive over here from my house to this program and then drive home because it won't recharge fast enough. And you think my 110 socket will do it? No, no, it won't because it's it's just like mine. So to me, that's the problem. So you have to adjust your lifestyle 
if you make that decision to say, okay, I know I'm going here. I've got to route myself according to charging and stuff. And, you know, I like to just get in my truck and Call I go buzz. 500 miles and I buy more gas. And I go another 500 miles. Yeah, it take you five minutes at the gas station to pump in, you know, 20 gallons worth of yeah. gas. Well, it, it, so it's, it is it's a, a different it, lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, and that lifestyle change a lot of people are willing to accept. Mm-hmm. Ask Buzz. I'm sure Buzz is listening. Buzz is listening. Burning up yeah. right now. Our, our next guest is might he's, have he's, some input on that, too. punching his TV. Yeah, well. So, did you hear General Motors is offering a new style extended limited warranty? So, what General Motors extended limited limited warranty entails is the standard warranty of 36 months, 36,000 miles is just normal. They're offering an extension of that up to 60 months or 60,000 miles, uh, and you can select that extended warranty if you're buying one of the for how much Chevy, Buick, GMC, Cadillac uh, vehicles. So, with that. Um, the cost of this new warranty varies from car to car, depending on what the MSRP of the car is, starting at a price of $1,000 for like a Chevy Cruze or a Sonic, they're small cars, up to about $3,000 for a Cadillac model. Right. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's it's a cool idea of getting an extended bumper to bumper. This isn't just a, a powertrain extension. This is the bumper to bumper extension. So that's something new that they're doing. We'll see if they and that and that price, of course, is negotiable at your dealership. Maybe higher in some retail locations. Mm-hmm. <laughs> racing calendar. There is racing to be had. Racing. Yep. Um, uh, NHRA is next weekend. Next weekend in Topeka, um, and then Brainerd on the 18th through the 23rd. Uh, and then uh, U.S. Nationals Labor Day weekend as usual. Watkins Glen is this weekend for. Uh, NASCAR, hmm. Indianapolis is next weekend for the Brickyard 400 for NASCAR, and then the Michigan uh, two and a half mile oval on the 22nd of August, and then back to Daytona on the 28th of August. Could the the NASCAR that's this weekend or next weekend for NASCAR? This weekend is Watkins Glen. Okay, I thought they were two weeks off because of the Olympics. Or is that the right date? Am I wrong? Oh no, I, I should we can no, sort no, that they're, out. Yeah, later. yeah they're, they're at Watkins Glen this weekend. Uh, Belgian Grand Prix, they took off, Formula One <laughs> took off for three weeks. Good. So they're not back until the 29th. But uh, this weekend is Road America um, in, uh, is that Minnesota? America. That would Wisconsin. be in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. I, I knew it was Wisconsin. And friend of the show, Alec Udell, is racing up there. He'll be in the uh, trofe- Lamborghini Trofeo Cup as well as in the GT4 Mercedes AMG GT. He's doing well. He's mm-hmm. doing very well. And then uh, then also then on the 22nd is uh, via Virginia International Raceway for IMSA. IndyCars this weekend is in the streets of Nashville. Oh, yeah. And then on the 14th, they will be at the Grand Prix of Indianapolis, which is the road course up there. And then on the 21st, they'll be at Gateway On September the 4th Park. is Houston Motorsports Park. Uh, local circle track racing, mm-hmm. three-eighths mile. Invite you to go to that. There All right, go. time now for this hour's pre-owned car of the week. Jeffrey Zekin, our man about town, yep. has a review of the 2019 Mazda MX5 Miata. It's, I'm just calling it the Miata. The, no, it, it, well, no, you got to call it, it, call it, call it the right Miata. Yeah. Yeah. MX5, okay. Nevertheless, this is a... Um, Uh, Trim levels available are Sport, Club, and Grand Touring. The vehicle we're talking about today is a Grand Touring Convertible. It's a good-looking vehicle. Check that out. I Mm -hmm. like that. A little sporty. Sport Compact. Uh, Seats 12. Uh, No, just kidding. Seats 2, in case you were wondering. Uh, Exterior features. You've got the front stylish headlamps. Uh, They're lighted LED lamps. You can get the fog lights in this as well, but this is pretty much a base convertible. Uh, You've got front spoiler accents. On the rear, you've got the rear deck spoiler, dual tip exhaust, and you're riding on either the 195.50R16s or the 205.55R16s. It's a good-looking vehicle. It's a little sports car. It's it's a little go-kart. You ever driven one? I've driven one a long time ago when they first came out. They're a lot different and a lot better than the old ones. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. A lot of power, and it's a little... Uh, four-cylinder. We'll talk about that. Interior, you're talking about interior appearance packages, and there's several of them to go by. Uh, but with the convertible, you're kind of limited. You've got a 7-inch touchscreen. You've got a GTS package. Nine speakers in this little car with a subwoofer. I think that's quite quite extraordinary. A lot, a lot of music, a lot of boom going on. A lot of uh, uh, 
Mike's music. It's boom, all boom. about the bass. It's all about the bass. Uh, USB connections. You got Napa leather options, which this one does have. Uh, you've got a rear camera, rear seat storage. Sm uh, the rear seat storage is right. You fold them, fold them front. Fold the seats forward, and you've got rear storage in the back. I think there's a picture of that as well. And then you got a small trunk, and it's you know, that is a small trunk. Yeah, you can't put junk in the trunk on this one. Uh, what yeah, it wouldn't work for you, Codra. Right? Nope. No, yours is full. <laughs> and there's the storage right there. We're talking about. You put the seats forward, and, and you've got that uh, storage a area. Little storage area. Yeah, yeah, had your absolutely. guns back there. Well, you could you know nah, put a it's got to be closer to bag. grab. September first, you're allowed to carry. Yeah, uh, two liter inline four cylinder, sixteen valve, hundred and eighty one horsepower at seven thousand RPM. That's quite high. Got to wind and it that's, up. Yeah, that's a huge it. improvement over the old one, which yep. was like hundred forty horsepower. Yeah, it's it's a good look. I mean, they stuffed it in there. It looks good. There's all no room for anything. Torque is hundred and fifty one foot pounds at four thousand RPM, and it is a six speed manual transmission. Uh, mileage is 26 in the city, 34 highway, a combined of 29. It's 11.9 uh, inch, 11.9 gallon uh, fuel tank with premium fuel oh, recommended. Here we go. Let's and, see what kind we got to for the logo. All right, we're just going to get right to it. Well, w w the history of the Mazda logo, uh, what you see actually today is a styled M with its arms raised like wings, symbolizing the brand's flight toward the future. Emphasize the V angle in the middle of the M, which represents automaker self-proclaimed creativity, vitality, flexibility, and passion, which is all. What <laughs> marketing person yeah. wrote that? Those, yeah, are, all, no those are all things that you know, I've talked about all the time. Uh, it's I circled, like the 1936 one the best. Yep. It's uh, well, we can get into that right now. Uh, the first appearance of the, of the, the Mazda logo was in 34, 1934, when the production began the three-wheel trucks. From there, the logo went to 1936, was patterned off the emblem of Hiroshima City. Right. Now, they are located in... a mushroom cloud over well, this. <laughs> Well, you've got to remember, yesterday was the uh, the anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima. Right, oh, it that's, was. But that's actually, terrible, but that's the way it <laughs> good is. Good timing, Jeff. There's more to the story because the, the 36 is more like winged birds. They were trying to draw They're birds. They're trying to fly away and yeah, get out of there. Fly. Well, I think that could be the, the Enola Gay. I'm not sure. Um, well, that could be, too. The, the next logo in, in the 59 to, 70, 59 to 75 focused primarily on the M removing the wings. Also dropped the res, resemblance of Hiroshima. Okay. And then getting on, you, you'll see through, you know, all the years and then 1997 to current. Uh, 1997, we got the logo to have today. Incorporated many of the qualities seen throughout the symbols of history. All right. The end. Mazda. Thank you very much. Hey, the In Wheel Time Car Show streams on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and InWheelTime.com. Podcasts are available from your favorite podcast channel. In Wheel Time Car Show continues right after this quick break. Winning the highest sales satisfaction award among all luxury brands from J.D. Power in 2020 tells you everything you need to know about your Lincoln purchase from Bayway. Bayway Lincoln is where a premium buying experience is a priority, and you're invited to feel it yourself. This Houstonian-owned premier dealership is managed by Lincoln Stahl, a seasoned member of the Bayway family. If it's online, in person, or in your own driveway, Bayway gets you to the luxury level you deserve. Bayway Lincoln is on the Gulf Freeway at Fuquay, just inside Beltway 8. Visit BaywayLincoln.com today. Tailpipes and Tacos, Houston's premier monthly car cruise-in returns Saturday, August 21st at two Loopy Tortilla Mexican restaurants in Katy and inside the Loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Tailpipes and Tacos is free and everyone is invited. You'll see collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals, and resto mods at two locations. Cars from all over Southeast Texas cruise in and show off in a friends and family event at the Loopy Tortilla Mexican Restaurant on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard just south of I-10 in Katy and inside the Loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Drag racer, car enthusiast, and Loopy founder Stan Holt brings you Houston's hottest cruise in. Tailpipes and tacos at Loopy's inside the Loop on the Southwest Freeway in Kirby and in Katy on the Grand Parkway just south of I-10 where you'll see the In Real Time Car Show. Get your ride ready and we'll see you at the Tailpipes and Tacos Saturday morning cruise in at Loopy's in Katy and Kirby. August 21st, 8 to 11 a.m., weather permitting. Gulf Coast Auto Shield has moved to a more convenient location. Now you can visit John Gray and his staff of dedicated professionals at their new shop on the South Sam Houston Parkway between Belford and Airport in Southwest Houston. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is the best at paint correction and ceramic coatings. Clear bras and custom wraps are specialties that only Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs with award-winning accuracy. And all their services come with a warranty. 
Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Porsche, and Ferrari owners depend on Gulf Coast Auto Shield for their specialty services, and you should too. The in-wheel time Corvette and Cutlass have both been massaged by Gulf Coast Auto Shield, so isn't it time your vehicle visit their new shop in Southwest Houston? Call John Gray today at 832-930-5655 or visit online at gcautoshield.com. That's gcautoshield.com. Paint, coatings, wraps, and more at gcautoshield.com. <music> 